Hello everybody, Tiri Tiri back again with another video. Oh boy, oh boy, Rafael Nadal, after 4 hours and 20 minutes, he was battling it out with Taylor Fritz. I knew that in coming into this match, that this will be Rafael Nadal's biggest and first real test at Wimbledon 2022 because all the other four opponents that he has faced before Taylor Fritz, they will never, I knew that they will never challenge Rafa Nadal. They just, they just didn't have the quality. They didn't have the goods. They didn't have the consistency. They didn't, they didn't have the firepower. I knew that Taylor Fritz, he will bring and will give Rafa Nadal a hell of a run for his money. And oh my dear God, he did. He pushed Rafael Nadal to the limits and was only three points away of winning the match in that fourth set. We all know Taylor Fritz, he won the first set, 6-3. Then Rafa won the second, 7-5. Then Taylor Fritz won the third, 6-3. And then Rafa won the fourth, 7-5. And then Rafa was a break up in the fifth set. Then Taylor Fritz came back in the fifth set. They went that, and then they went toe-to-toe -to -toe again with each other until the tie break. And then in the tie break, Rafa got a flying start and was up five love in the lead. And then in the end, Rafa won that super tie break 10-4. Four. After four hours and 20 minutes, Rafael Nadal, the greatest tennis player of all time, according to me, because the majors is, is, is telling that he's the greatest tennis player of all time. He is the player who has 22 majors in his name. 20 freaking two majors. After four hours and 20 minutes, Rafael Nadal eliminates and takes down Taylor Fritz. Taylor Fritz, he threw everything at Rafa Nadal. His entire chicken sink, not chicken sink, kitchen sink, his entire kitchen sink, Taylor Fritz threw everything at Rafa Nadal just to knock him out. Rafa Nadal, after four hours and 20 minutes, it was Rafa Nadal who lifted his, ar his arms into the sky as the winner. I'm so impressed from this tennis warrior, from this tennis gladiator, from this tennis terminator. He just refused to give up. He refused to surrender. He refused to lose. Despite that he had some kind of a pain in his stomach, we all could see that he had some kind of a pain. He couldn't serve as pain-free as he wished. He looked sore, he looked worn out, but he was never defeated. Even though that Taylor Fritz really, really pushed Rafa Nadal to the limit. Rafa had the knife under, the, under his throat, but Rafa refused to lose. All credit to Taylor Fritz. I don't know. Guys, 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 guys. My tennis friends all around the world. This, I don't know if I've ever seen Taylor Fritz do a better performance. This maybe was a beast mode level Taylor Fritz we saw. This kind of a performance from Taylor Fritz would have been enough against everybody in the world. Maybe even against Novak Djokovic. 56 winners and only 35 on Fosteros. 21 more winners, 19 aces, 63% first serve seen, Taylor Fritz landed, 70% behind his first serve he won, 70%, 48% Taylor Fritz was winning behind his second serve, he, he broke Rafa's serve 8 times out of 14 break punch opportunities, that is unbelievable great numbers. Especially the winner and unforced stat. 56 winners in a match who took 4 hours and 20 minutes and only 35 unforced If you don't call that a beast mode level per performance, I don't know, what do you call a beast level performance? Rafa Nadal, on the other hand, he was matching these kind of unbelievable numbers from Taylor Fritz. Rafa landed 65% first serve in. Little higher than Taylor Fritz, will land at 63. Rafa also won 70% beyond his first serve, exactly like Taylor Fritz. Rafa won 47 of the points behind his second serve. 
Just 1% worse than Taylor. Taylor won 48% behind his second serves. Rafa was winning 47% behind his second serves. Rafa did also 56 winners, exactly like Taylor Fritz. But the difference is, is here that Rafa was doing more unforced errors. Rafa did 42 unforced errors. So Rafa does 14 more winners than unforced errors. Compared with Taylor Fritz who did 21 more winners than unforced errors. And if you look at the br how many times Rafa broke Taylor Fritz, it was 7 times out of 14 break much opportunities. So actually Taylor Fritz breaks Rafa's serve one more time. He bro uh, Taylor broke Rafa's serve 8 out of 14 break much opportunities, Rafa 7 out of 14 break much opportunities. This actually was a break fest. This, the entire match, all of the sets had break, had break, had break of serves. All of them. Each, besides the third set. That was the only set that, that not both of the players broke each other's serve. In that third set, Taylor broke Rafa's serve two times and Rafa didn't break Taylor's serve any time. That was the only set, the third set, where the players didn't break each other's serve, both of them. All the other four sets, they broke each other's serve frequently. They broke each other's serve like I, like I changed my socks. Which means very, very frequently. So this was a break of fest. And in the entire match, Taylor Fritz wins 168 points, Rafa Nadal wins also 168 points. So they, was, they were winning the same amount of points the entire match. So what, was, what made the difference? It is simple, guys. Rafa Nadal outclutched Taylor Fritz in that super breaker, in that super tie break in the fifth set. That was what made this, that what, that, this was what made Rafa Nadal win the match. Because this match was even Steven in until the finish line. For the all the fifth, all the five sets that they played, it was really, really even Steven and really, really close. But what was not close was that super tiebreak in the fifth set. There, Rafa was superior over Taylor Fritz. Rafa was barely doing any unforced errors. If he even did any unforced error, the entire of that super tiebreak in the fifth set. And talking about tiebreaks, Rafa Nadal has been a tiebreak beast this year. I think he is 14-2 in tiebreaks in this 2022 season. He has won 14 tiebreaks that he has played, and only he has he has played 16 tiebreaks all in all in, the, in this 2022 season. And he has won 14 of those and has lost only two tiebreaks. Rafa Nadal. So Rafa Nadal has been a tiebreak monster in this 2022 season. Man, what a match. Man, what a show. Thank you to both of the players. These youngsters are coming, are coming closer and closer to defeat these goats, Nadal and Djokovic. Because let's face it, it is these two who are the greatest tennis players of all time. All respect to Roger Federer. He is the third greatest tennis player of all time. He is not the second and he is definitely not the first. It is these two, Nadal and Djokovic, who are the greatest tennis players of all time. And this youngster, Cena, pushed Djokovic to the limit in the quarterfinal yesterday, but not as much as Taylor Fritz pushed Nadal to the limit in this, in this quarterfinal today. But... It is so difficult cross, 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 crossing that murderous finish line against these two beasts, against these two goats, against these two terminators. Because you know why? Because they will leave everything on the court. They will play like their life is on the line. Rafa Nadal had even some he, health issues against Taylor Fritz with his stomach and he couldn't serve properly, especially towards in the, in the middle of the in the middle of the match and towards in the end of the match but he was refusing to give up why because he's a terminator he's a predator he's a cyborg he's a 
steadiest consistency machine. And he will never, never give up. No matter the circumstances, he will send a message to his opponent and say, you know what? You are very close to victory, but I'm not going down. If you want to beat me, you need to win that match point. I will not act Santa Claus and give that match point to you for free. Because I, my name is Rafael Adal. I am the 22th Grassland Champion. Alright guys, I hope you did. If you did, give us a thumbs, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.